everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Ricky Hernandez here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, please subscribe, ring that bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. I upload once a week. And in this week's video, I have something very special for you guys. Happy Pride Month for everybody. And in today, I'm giving myself a drag race digital drag transformation honey so if you want to see how I go from this to this then keep on watching so we're gonna start this makeup look transformation by covering our brows cut and pat like this and I'm gonna grab some rubbing alcohol and then I'm gonna clean my brows to take off the oils and we're also gonna do our sides right here. Grab some of the rubbing alcohol. Then I'm gonna just clean my brows so there are no oils in there. It's time for the glue. I use Elmer's Purple Glue to cover my brows. And don't be scared to use Elmer's glue. Like I've used this for almost three years and I've never had a situation with my brows and I'm very picky with my brows. And I use this little spoolie that I got and to brush those hairs out gluing the first brow. I'm going to show you how to do the first brow and then on the next brow I'm going to talk a little bit more about this transformation and the outfit that I'll be wearing today. So I like to put a lot of glue first in there. That little mini brush here and just push some hairs upwards like that. Have a mini blow dryer. Then I'm going to put it on load and just this is going to help you know because it takes time. So that's pretty much how you glue your brow, and then the more layers you put on and then keep drying, the better. I do three layers of glue. So do you see how glossy that brow looks? The excess glue on the top, I'm just gonna clean it a little bit like this. Let's do the other brow, and I'll talk a little bit more about the outfit that I'll be wearing today. So the outfit that I'd be wearing today at the end of the look, I actually made it myself. I gave myself a little RuPaul challenge, a crafty look, honey. And I grabbed seven dresses from Fashion Nova that I bought for this like crazy TikTok. Follow me on TikTok, hi. And I made all of those dresses into this one look. I'll be putting in the screen some of the work that I did. It's very exciting, honestly, guys. I'm gonna do my sides right here. Females don't have this area up here, right here. Two. We'll be wearing a wig today, darling. For, to set our brows, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Setting Powder. And then I'm going to grab my blender and then we're going to set the brows. Like that. Nice. And then we're going to do our sides. So I'm brushing this very gently with a brush. So next, we're gonna color correct. For that, you use a red or a orange color corrector. I'm just gonna put that on my brows. I'm gonna wanna put some all around my beard area. I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes too. Just cause like, you know, if you have star circles, it's a good area to put some in there. And we're gonna just blend that in our face. It looks crazy, but trust me, it's gonna look better at the end. Go into our under eye. Be red. Very gently. So I'm gonna slightly brush everything with some setting powder. So we can set that concealer. So our face should look something like this now that it's color corrected. Next, we're gonna apply some foundation. For foundation, I have a foundation combo. When you're doing drag makeup, it's cakey makeup, so you wanna just, you know, full coverage. And for that, I'm gonna mix two of this um, full coverage foundation from Makeup Revolution and this foundation from Fenty Beauty, the Hydrating Pro Filter. And then I'm gonna apply this in these areas. I'm even gonna apply it on my brow, on my lip. Makeup Revolution, it's a little bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna just add this on the outer corner. 
our face. And those two should, you can mix any foundation, you know, whatever works best for you. This is the Morphe 462. And then I'm gonna just blend those two together. It's very, 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 you can buff. When you're working on your brows, you wanna buff. You don't wanna like do this movement because you don't want the glue to separate. And that should start giving you a blank canvas to put the new face, literally, when putting on your face on. So. I also have the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP, which is, I love this. This is in the color Soft Black, but I've drop my brows I'm gonna start filling them out I like to fill out my brows with eyeshadow let's start with this brown shade right here which is that dark brown to start covering our brows okay. so yes I'm grabbing this morphe Jeffree star brush this is the JS7 Getting there, and I'm gonna clean this brows. Tiny brush, and then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this. So next, we're gonna do our eyeshadow tape to create a nice guideline. So now for eyeshadow, I did one eye off camera, guys, to make sure that I give you what you guys deserve. And then I zoomed you in so we can do this eye together. Actually, we're gonna start priming our lid. Actually, that's the first thing. And then I'm gonna use the Anastasia Eye Primer, which is this one right here. And this is a great base. It's gonna make all the eyeshadow pop. I'm gonna start with the first shade, which is a yellow shade. Corner right here. And build that color right there. I'm grabbing the next little brush right here and then I'm going into that orange shade. Blending those two colors right here. Beautiful, there. And then adding. So I'm gonna put the hot pink right here going out the end of that fake brown. You know, I'm adding it at the end right here. Mm, there you go. I love this palette. It's actually very pigmented. So now that I have all the shades placed there, I'm gonna go back with each shade and just blend them a little bit better. And then next, we're gonna cut our crease and I'm gonna just do all of that with white. And then we're gonna do that with the Anastasia primer. We're gonna just set that entire area with the white. I'm using the shade glucose right here because I need a very pop white, like how good this shadow is because it's just pop. We're gonna add a shimmer shade to all of that lip too, so it looks a little bit more shiny. And then I'm gonna do the Jawbreaker shade from the Jawbreaker palette, which is this one right here. I wanna add that like reflection of the rainbow in that white lip area. And then. Now we're gonna do the bottom lash right here with the blue and the green. So, so we're gonna start with the navy blue shade and eye, not like in the beginning right there. And then I'll my under eye but towards this side right here. So I think it's time for liner. We're gonna do this liner vibe right here. They use the Epic Ink Liner from the Cosmetic.
gonna just go back to the eyebrows and just give a little bit of more of like love to them and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna do the rest of my concealer. Perfect. So I'm gonna blend all of this out, okay? So now actually, let me just pop the lashes that are kind of ready and then I'll be right back. While the lashes settle, I'm gonna put some blush on her face. This cream blush right here. So for highlighter, I'm gonna use the same highlighter from this brush here. I'm just gonna mix this one and this one. Any now that I'm all highlighter, I'm gonna bake. While this bakes, I'm gonna put some mascara on. Mascara, I have the Milk Kush Mascara. And then I'm gonna apply some on my bottom lash, okay? So I have this face gem and then I'm gonna put them on my eyes so I could decorate them. So I added the gems right there. I hope you can see. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And next it's time for lips. Guys, what do you guys think? This is the final look. This looks so beautiful, oh my god. Guys, I'm gonna put a wig and the outfit and everything that I have together and I'm gonna zoom you out and we'll show the final look. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. Good luck. And don't f it up. Guys, I love how this look came out. I'm giving you category is rainbow realness. I did the sleeves, guys. I'm gonna put some images here of some of the photos of the entire outfit. If you are here to the end, thank you so much again for watching my videos, supporting them. Please like, subscribe, give it a thumb up. I'll leave all my social media here on the screen because I'm going to be posting some really fun looks with this. Thank you so much, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.